time. Put my phone on, do not disturb. All right. Hey, you guys. Welcome to our leaders meeting. Super excited that you're here. Super pumped. I'm going to open up stuff in prayer and then we're going to get started. Okay. All right. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this amazing group of people. I ask that you would just be with us tonight. I ask that you would just speak through me, Lord. Let them hear what they need to hear to just improve their leadership. And um, Lord, we pray that you would just bless our businesses. We pray that you would enlarge our territory, Father God, and that we would work in a manner that is worthy of that expansion. We pray that you would give us favor with people. We praise you and we thank you for who you are, Lord, and just... Be with us tonight. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Y'all, hot toddies because you girls. Amen, hot. Kevin. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Bless it. Lock that okay. man. Wait. Bye, Chastity. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tonight we are going to talk about. You not being equipped, okay? You feeling like you're not equipped to be a leader, all right? So, you've been here before. Y'all know I'm a homeschool mama, okay? So, of course, we always start with our questions. For us, we always start with defining whatever term that we're looking at or whatever we're trying to figure out. So, equipped to be equipped, okay? That's going to be an adjective. So, it means being provided with whatever is necessary for a purpose, okay? So think about that. I want you to think about that, okay? You are showing us iPad, whatever that is. Okay, so quick, adjective, all right? Another one is to give someone or something the skills or knowledge needed to do a particular thing, okay? So I was recently asked to do a whole different position within our homeschool community, kind of freaking out. I'm like, mm, I don't know about all that. Uh, that seems like a lot, okay? Seems like a lot, are we sure? Okay. Um, and I had our support rep who'd be like an SSD in our sensey terms. But after I had told her that I had yelled at a mom at a football game, she asked me to take a different position. Okay. In our homeschool, our Christian homeschool community. I'm like, I literally just got in a fight with a mom, but it's fine. Okay. God is good. All right. Because there's no perfect people, right? We know that there's no perfect people. Okay. So I was very shocked that she had decided to ask me. And I literally sat there and said, I do not feel equipped to handle this. I don't feel equipped. And she was like, hey, God does not call those up who already have it all together, right? He equips those who are called. And we have to remember that because it's so easy for us to think we're not equipped to do the position that is being open to us. But let me be honest with you, okay? You are in the position you're in for a reason. You have the teenies that you have for a reason, okay? There is a reason that they were given to you, that they joined with you, that they rolled up to you. It is not a mistake. It is not an accident, all right? So with the authority that you have been given as a leader within the Sensi community, you need to honor that. I need to honor your people, all right? So I'm preaching to myself because, y'all, it's, it's rough out here, right? It just is. So if I am equipping myself to go out into the snow, I'm in Texas. Okay. It is still very warm. My kids were in shorts and t-shirts today. We're in the end of November. Okay. If I'm equipping myself to go out into the snow, what am I going to do? Yeah, I'm not about, it. I'm not about the snow, but what am I going to do? I'm probably going to put a coat on. I'm not going out there in a bikini. Let's be real. No, that sounds like a hard pass. Okay. I've got to put the right equipment on to get ready to go out there. If, if I'm going to go for a walk in the snow with my kids, I'm not wearing a bikini, right? I'm going to have the right shoes on. Probably gonna have the right socks on because my feet get cold really easily. I'll put a coat on, put a hat on, whatever that looks like. Okay, I'm gonna be properly equipped. We have to do the same thing within our leadership. Okay. A lot of you are moms. You are equipping, whether you realize it or not, whether your baby is six months old or your baby is 18, about to leave the house, you are equipping your child, you're preparing them to go out into the world. So what are you doing? Are you giving them the skills and the tools necessary for them to succeed without you? That is the ultimate goal, right? We want to do the same thing with our people. Are you giving your team the skills and the tools necessary to go out and be a and be a director and be an SSD one day? Because let's be real, 
our business is the same thing every single month. It doesn't change. It's one of the things I like about Sensi. It's predictable for the most part, okay? So we have to be thinking about that. What are we giving our people, all right? So pause. Do you feel equipped to lead your team right now? Where you're at right now, put it in the chat. You feel equipped? Yes, no, maybe so. Some days on a Monday, so I feel real good on a Monday compared to a Wednesday. That's just a whole different thing, right? Oh, Lord, that hot toddy's strong. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. No, sometimes, sometimes. Negative ghost rider. Yes, but it's about the choice. Very good. Minimally. Okay. You question yourself. Yes, you do, but you don't always put your boots on. There you go. You have the tools, but you're not using them. Okay. So first, okay. This is our first section. We have three sections. Our first section is going to be, do you feel equipped to lead your team? So many of us feel like we are not equipped to be leaders in this business. The first thing it's going to start with is your mindset. Point blank period. Okay. It's going to start with your mindset every single time, every single time. Sometimes y'all, okay, miss, we're just going to get into it. Like we don't get into it. Uh, so my middle one was, has been thrown up the last few days. Came into my bedroom at midnight, okay? Did not want to deal with that, right? I didn't want to, but I have to mentally prepare myself at midnight, even if I'm kind of just yelling, go get a bowl, right? Whatever that looks like, you still have to prepare, okay? Still has to be a mindset shift. Like, oh crap, this is my job. Dang it, here we go. All right, here, here the heck we go. Okay, for those who read the Bible or just need some good word, Hebrews 13 21 explains that God not only equips us, but he also works inside of us to produce, which is pleasing in his sight. Okay. It's not all on you. What a reassurance. What a blessing that you have that confidence to know it's not all on me. There is someone bigger that knows the plan. I'm just walking it out. Okay. Keep that in your mind. Next, are you filling up? Are you filling up with goodness? You cannot empower others, equip others. Equip your dang self, empower your dang self if you are not filling up, okay? I notice a huge shift in my mood and how I feel and all the things, okay? When I am not filling up with the right stuff, if nobody's pouring into me, I'm like, don't know where my hands are. You have to fill yourself up. It has to be intentional. It just does. So I know at least once a week, I'm going to church, listening to a sermon, being around people, okay? I'm going to listen to a podcast. Usually it's Trent Sheldon because I really like him. I like when he yells at me and pumps me up, okay? He empowers me with his words. It's just really good. You've got to make sure that you are filling up, okay? So empower yourself. Now, this is going to be a little sassy here, okay? So just bear with me, please. I love you all, okay? Lord, I pray that there's no spirit of fence in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. There's a lot of talk right now, okay, about privilege and all these things. I'm just going to be really super honest with you. If you really go look at the world, you live in one of the freest countries in the entire freaking world, okay? You are privileged. I am privileged. We are privileged to be Americans. We're just going to put it out there point blank. I don't care. And if you got whatever you got to say about political stuff, you take it up with God. Don't take it up with me right now because I'm really not in the mood. Okay. We'll talk about it later. I'm just going to be honest. But the thing is, you are privileged. Okay. Period. You can make a choice whether to have a small business or not. You can make a choice whether you want to work that small business or not. Okay. We're pre preparing for our end of, end of semester assessments. My middle one came, this is first one, his very first semester big kid assessment. And he said, I really don't want to look at these words. And I said, okay, that's fine. If you don't want to study that Latin, you have the choice. You're not free of those consequences from the choice you made, but you have the choice, okay? You have the choice. You have a choice. You have a choice whether you want to go for a walk or not. It's all a choice. And there's a lot of people around this world who don't have any choices. They don't get to make those choices. Again, honor that, okay? Let's be thankful for that, okay? You are very, very fortunate. Very, very fortunate. You don't want to cook tonight? You got, How many restaurants you got to go pick from? That's huge, okay? So just, I mean, lightly, right? But we have the choice to empower ourselves and to fill ourselves up, okay? Okay, 
You get to choose how you want to live. We are very, very blessed. You get to choose how you treat others and you get to choose how people will treat you. Whitney said it the best when she was like, you were literally teaching them how to treat you. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. But how are you teaching yourself to treat you? Uh, uh, you got to fill yourself up. Okay. So whatever pumps you up, you have the power to choose to do more of that. So do it. Like, I don't know, like, just do it. Right. I know it's easier said than done. Put a freaking alarm in your phone. This is my pump up day. I'm going to pour into myself because some of y'all are working full-time jobs. Your moms, your grandmas, your wives, you're pouring into everybody else and there's nobody pouring right back into you. Okay. Hear that, please. I love you. All right. So why are we going through life just being pissed and negative? Why are we whining instead of choosing to change something that we don't like? Make a choice. Okay. The time that you spent whining, literally, I love y'all. This is, and this is not anybody coming at anybody. It's just here. The time you spend whining, saying, I can't book parties and typing that really long message is a time you probably could have gone to book some parties, right? Let's use our time wisely, okay? And be wise about what we're doing, okay? Okay, okay, I love that. And for the love of all things holy, as you're pumping yourself up, please remember that you are literally most like the five people you spend your most time with. Let that sink in. Because if it's your mother-in-law and she's negative and she's rude, I'm not calling nobody's mother-in-laws out. I don't know your mother-in-laws. I may be speaking from experience. I don't know. Okay. It's not, yep. There's that. Okay. Not hanging out with her. Boom. All right. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. All right. So remember who you are. I want you to think about all the things that you have overcome in your life. You're still here. You're still here. Whether you set your kit down, you picked it up, you lowered it, whether you're going through the roughest time in your life, you're here tonight, you're still here, you're listening to this, okay? That matters. You already have everything inside of you that you need to be successful. You have to tap into it. That's it. And you're going to go through times where you're not going to tap into it. And you're going to go through times where you do tap into it, okay? It's not a mistake. You're here for a reason. I'm working on something with a friend right now. I know that I went through what I went through to specifically help this person, okay? Same thing for you. Your hard times are there for a reason. You've overcome them. Now you get to go bless somebody else. That's amazing, okay? Let God use you. All right, look at your team page. Look at your workstation. Look at all the, literally all you need is the success paths. They're right there. You're equipped. That's it. That's it. You're equipped, okay? You have every single thing that you need on that workstation without a present sponsor. Okay, boo, sponsor, if they're not present, boo, you have the tools. You don't need them. There are, there are many people in here who literally have been successful without their sponsor. I'm just saying, pull your big girl pants up. You can do it, okay? You can do it. Believe it and then go do it, all right? Okay, even if you don't have a team page, right? Look at the leaders that you love to listen to. Go to their YouTube pages, okay? Go learn something. Wherever you're weak, go learn to not be so weak. One of the things I've been telling my students, you have to know where the holes are in your education in order to fill them to be well-rounded, right? Same with you guys. You have to know where the holes are in your business in order to fill those holes up so you can be a well-rounded consultant. Will it ever be even all the time? No. Will it ever be perfectly balanced? No, that's life. It happens, okay? But you have to know where the holes are. Go learn something. Go ask questions. Why do we not do this enough as adults? Please ask questions, okay? It's not embarrassing. It actually means more to me as a leader to see you ask those questions than you sit back and be like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do my hands. Like, go ask the questions, okay? Ask the questions, go search, go learn, see whose brain you can pick. Stop just sitting there doing nothing, all right? Okay, we should always be learning. Leaders, you should always be learning. Then the other thing for you, okay, as you're filling yourself up and you don't feel like you can equip your people, you need to do the work. And I'm speaking to myself too, okay? We have to do the work. We cannot say, hey, do this and this and this. You should do this, this will help you. If we're not doing it ourselves as leaders, and you've heard that a million times, do the dang work, okay? Okay, next, number two. Look, we're just rolling along, okay? 
Are you equipping or enabling your team? Which one you doing? Okay. I talked to somebody the other day and I was like, oh, I love this. I'm just going to screenshot your story and crop it and share it with my people. And she said, do you want the template for it? No, I do not want the template for it because I'm not enabling nobody. Go make it yourself. Go make it. Okay. Some things, yes, I will share, but guess what? You have to put in the work, right? And there's a whole lot of people that would rather just be enabled than to be equipped because they don't, this oh, Canva's so hard to learn how to use. Anya, I don't want to click around. How do you think I learned? Nobody gave me a tutorial, homie. I had to go watch some dang YouTube videos and that girl was shaking all over the place. Okay, like I did the work. You have to do the work. Some of it, yes, we will give to you. We love to share with you. But other times you have to be willing to put in the work to learn how to do something. You can do hard things. Okay. All right. Listen to this. There are, I was this leader. I was this leader. Poor Whitney, like, got a hold of me and was like, stop being this leader on you. Pull your life together. Okay. Enablers have really good intentions. We love you. We love you, enablers. We know you have good intentions. You have a good heart. Okay. But they are literally giving the solutions without having their people figure it out on them on their own. Guess how most people learn by doing. Okay, most people learn by doing. And so as leaders, if we come up and we're like, you know, let me just give it to you. Let me, let me just give you all the things. We're not equipping our people, okay? So enablers end up doing the work for their people and the person ends up floating along without solving any problems. What does that look like in the Sensi life? Think about that. As a leader, what does that look like? Where am I enabling my people? Where am I literally stunting their growth, okay? Because, I mean, my oldest just turned 15. If I enable Isaiah, the other day I handed him a recipe and I said, here, make this pumpkin roll. Make me look good, please, because I don't have the time. And he said, I, 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 I don't know, uh, figure it out, read the directions. You don't know what something means, Google it. You can do it, okay, why? Because one day he... God willing is going to have a wife who's going to have a baby and she's going to be real tired. He needs to make her something to eat. Okay. He's not calling me despite my youngest things. He's going to live with me forever. And I'm going to do all the things for him. No. Okay. He's not calling me to do it. He needs to learn how to do it on his own. All right. So we have to think like, not that these are our children, but literally you are the person for them. And we're going to get to that in a minute too. Okay. When we enable somebody, it is so much easier than equipping them. It's way easier just to send someone the answer to something versus telling them, hey, you know what? That's on your workstation. If you type in this, I bet you can find it. It's easier just to hand them the answer, right? Because sometimes you have to go make sure that word actually works in the workstation to give them what's going to have to happen when it comes up, right? Sometimes that workstation will wonk you. Let's just be real, okay? So sometimes it's more work. And really, it feels good to save someone. Let's just be real. It feels so good. Like, oh, look. I help that person out. Wow, look at me go. Okay, it does feel good, but it doesn't help them in the long run. Okay, so many people have to learn from experience and their mistakes for it to stick. If they don't, it's not sticking. Guess what they're doing next week? Coming back to you. And the next week, coming back to you. And a year from now, they're going to be asking you the same thing. No, hold on, man. You've been with Sensi just as long as I have. Why are you asking me these questions? Absolutely. That's 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 an Anya issue, right? That's a, my problem. I did that, okay? So we have to start thinking like that. Enablers will see a hard time or have a hard time seeing someone struggle and learn from their own choices. They end up taking responsibilities for other people's choices and begin to feel responsible themselves. Listen, leaders. Listen, Linda, Linda, leaders, listen, okay? Your job is to give the tools. Your job is to make sure that they have everything they need to be equipped their success is not on your shoulders. What they choose to do with the equipping is not on you, okay? I need you to hear that loud and clear, loud and clear, okay? I've lost a lot of directors and I've really had to learn. Like at one point I was in counseling, okay? Because I was like, dang, what am I doing wrong? Like, oh, I'm failing these people. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. They had all the information. They had access to all the things. They had access to the trainings. Look who's not here. Like, what do you want me? I can't do anymore. I'm doing all I can, right? 
Okay. So we have to think about that. It's not on you. You're not responsible for that. Okay. So do not take responsibility for other people's choices and be responsible yourself. You are going to give them the tools and then you're going to cheer them on and let them do the work. Okay. That's what we're doing. All right. On the flip side, when we equip someone, we give them the information and the guidance, and then we let them make their own decisions. Got to make their own decisions, you guys. Got to, okay? Let them do it. We end up letting go of the outcome. We understand it's not in our control, and the other person has to want to help themselves. Listen to that. They got to want to help themselves, okay? So when you see that person putting on them, because it happens on social media, oh, everything's so expensive, ah. Okay, did you book another party? Did you try? Were you worried about it? No, did you have those club conversations? Did you try to sponsor somebody? No, we're just gonna sit here and we're gonna be upset and miserable because things are expensive, but we're not wanting to do the work to help ourselves out. Like, that's not on you, okay? That's not on you. You get to lovingly say, hey, I saw your post. If you're really struggling this month, you should really go try to book some more parties so that next month you're not feeling the same way. Get out of the crazy cycle. Like, hello, okay? When I see Sensei Consultants asking about extra jobs, I'm just kind of like, but you have the tools. I don't understand. Make it make sense, okay? You have the tools, okay? Okay, all right. So is your team. So is your team, okay? We want our people to know that they can handle things on their own. They don't always have to run back to you or whoever to try to figure it out. They can. How do you build that confidence in someone? You encourage them, you give them the tools, and you let them spread their wings. Okay? You have That's instilling that confidence. Once they make a few mistakes, which everybody does, right, you get confident a little more each time. Okay? They can't do that if you're doing the work for them. All right? So we know that when we are doing this and we're equipping somebody we would be doing a disservice to them okay you really love your people then you need to take care of them in this way you would be doing a disservice to them if you rescue them every single time okay we need them to want to help themselves okay so you model what it looks like and you do have your boundaries when it comes to your business hours uh, uh, you do have your boundaries when it comes to, hey, you could find this here on the workstation. Or you know what, right now, for me, I'm in the middle of teaching my kids. I'm doing some really deep Latin stuff and I don't know and my brain hurts. Can you please go put that on the team page? You don't have to ignore people, okay? But you can, Nikki said it earlier, redirect. I'm gonna redirect you right now. Go ahead and go ask, go ask the masses because your girl can't do it right now. But there's someone scrolling on their phone, sitting on the toilet, who probably has the answer. It ain't me right now, okay? And then look, now that person feels empowered because they just helped someone else. Look at you leading. Look at you doing big things, okay? All right, so we have to have an understanding that we are all responsible for our own businesses. We empower others to step into who they are and help them to learn from every decision that they make, especially in their leadership. So as you're growing up those leaders, you need to make sure that they know they can make those decisions. They can do it, okay? And they're gonna make mistakes. It's life and it's okay, all right? So we are not enabling, we are equipping, okay? Not enabling, we're equipping, all right? All right, number three. Have you equipped your people to get to where they want to be? Do you even know where your people want to be? When's the last time you checked in? Tell me. When's the last time you checked in on your people and their goals? Because that makes a difference, right? It's not going to be the same all the time. They're not going to have the same goals every single time. That's okay. That's good. Okay. Beginning of November. Love it. I love it. I'll be honest, I have not done this. I was typing this up, I was like, girl, you've not done this since like August, okay? August, yikes, okay? Thank you, yes, Whitney. Stop waiting for your director, your SD, your SSD to ask their goals, you are their leader. They picked you for a reason, right? They have you for a reason. We know, we already went over this. You were put in place for a reason, okay? So you need to talk to your people. Ask what their goals are. What do they wanna do with Sensi? Has it changed? 
That's really all you have to say. Hey, girl, just checking in. Um, have your goals of Sensi changed? Yes or no? That's it. They're going to answer you. Let them lead the conversation. I really want to grow my check or I'd really like to become a leader or whatever that looks like. Okay. You just opened a door. Even if they're like, I would really, I don't want to be a leader, but I would really like to get more sales. Cool. Let's talk. Okay. You just opened a door, but if you don't open the door yourself, most of your teammates are not going to come to you to ask these questions or to say, Hey, I'm really thinking about this. All right. So you got to be doing those things. Ask the questions. All right. So I'm going to give you how you can do this. Okay. And I'll give you a little bit of pump up first. As a leader, you are responsible. You are mama bear. You are papa bear of your organization. That is every single person you see that falls underneath you on that report online. Okay. On your workstation, you are, I'm going to say the goat. You are the goat. Yes, you are. You are the goat. You are the greatest of all time. Look at you. Okay. So you are the mama bear, the papa bear. You are there. All right. Now, hear me clearly. As I say, you're responsible for your people. You're not responsible for making them work. We've already went over this, right? You're not responsible for their success. That's on them. Okay. But you are responsible for making sure they have the tools to be equipped and to get to where they want to be in this business. Okay. Yes. All right. You're responsible for making sure they've been trained. When's the last time you've done a training? It could be a typed up training that you post the team page. Okay. That you emailed out to your people. Lead consultants can send an email to their people just like an SSD can. Right. When's the last time you did that? Okay. Think about these things. One of the best things about being a leader is being able to see people's potential before they see it in themselves. Whitney saw my potential way faster than I did, okay? It, it took me so long, so long to even like catch, catch my brain up, okay? But she could see it. Why? Because she was putting in the work, all right? She was putting in the work. All you have to do is watch, okay? When you're, when you're looking for potential in people, watch who's showing up on the team page, who's excited, who's pumped up, okay? Look at those reports. All right, run those reports. You have a reporting tab for a reason. Okay, you've got a front line, you've got a leadership, and you have a downline one. Look at the reports. Numbers don't lie. So watch, run the reports, and reach out. Open your mouth. Don't just sit there in silence and be like, wow. Wow, Jennifer's doing such a good job. That's great for her. Whoa, hold on, no, go reach out to Jennifer. Girl, I see your sponsoring is off the chain. Are you interested in making it to the next level of this business? How can I help you? What questions do you have? Okay, reach out to her. Whoa, your PRV is insane. Have you ever thought about being a leader? Okay, you wanna increase your check? You gotta reach out, all right? So those are things you're gonna do when you're looking for potential. Next is gonna be accountability, okay? Accountability is the backbone of effective leadership. So you're gonna start by setting clear expectation. You wanna be a leader. You said you wanted to be a leader. You wanted to put in the work. The team meeting is on this day. Hmm? Now if they show up, that's on them. Life happens, we know that, right? But they show up, then you're like, oh yeah, okay. All right, I see you. You wanna learn. You have to feed the bear when it's hungry, y'all. So many people are waiting back here. Their bears are hungry and they done missed the opportunity. A year, a year just passed and now that person's not in the same situation. They're no longer hungry. They went and got another job. Hello. Okay. Feed the bear when it's hungry. All right. Have some accountability. This is literally when you do this and you start leading by example. So you're like, Hey, you said you wanted more. I do think that you would be on the meeting. That just kind of makes sense to me. Right. Or you would show up on the team page or when somebody asks a question, you're there to help. Okay. And you're also doing the same thing because you're going to lead by example right? You're not just going to sit back and let everybody else do it. We're going to take initiative. We're going to implement. Okay. So you're going to lead by example with that. Yes, exactly. There needs to be actions matching with the words. Anybody can say for a year, I really want more. Mm. I really do want more, but you know, I haven't booked any parties and I haven't shared any sensi at all, but I do want more. No, you don't. No, you don't. Stop lying to yourself. Okay. So that's what we're looking for. Your words and the actions need to match up. And it's the same for your people as you're leading them up, okay? This is going to foster a culture of ownership. 
this matters because whose business is it? Did we just say theirs, right? They have to take responsibility. They have to own it. It's that's ownership. Okay. They're going to be able to own the work that they've done and that they've not done. Once you start holding people accountable, so it's not nasty, not nasty. But if you say you want this and you expect me to put in time and effort, then you also have to put in time and effort. Okay. That just makes sense. Like logically, it's logic. Okay. All right. So when you're doing this, for your people and yourself, because you're holding yourself accountable also, this is going to lead to growth and success within your organization and your business, okay? So there are many a times, and y'all be patient sometimes, okay? Many times where Whitney's had to say, hi, did you remember that there's a meeting? And I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. yep, because I'm me, okay? We're, we're trying over here. I also thought I had a dentist appointment this week, wrote it down, and didn't. So there you go, all right? This is just my brain, but so be patient. I'm not saying enable people, but be patient. And you can sit here and you can be like, hey, by the way, by the way, and I promise you, once you hold people accountable and they start coming to meetings and getting fed, there has never been a meeting that I have been in that I'm like, man, that was a waste of my time, ever. I've always taken something away from it and been like, dang, that was with my people, that was good. That was really good. Now I know what I can do better, okay? Hold them accountable. Once they start showing up, they're not gonna to wanna to stop showing up because it's a good time. It's also, there's no kids yelling at me, which is really nice, okay, here's that. All right, next, remember, you cannot force people to be productive. I'm just reiterating this in a different way every single time, so one day it's gonna stick for you guys, okay? You cannot force people to be productive. All you can do is provide the tools, see who uses them, work with those people. When people are using the tools, the results are going to show work with those people. You want to know how not to waste time as a leader? That's how you do it. Do not waste your time because this is a business and we can love people and I can love you and be so kind to you, but also time is money in this business, okay? Wherever you're spending the most time in your business, you want it to be fruitful. You're here to make money. You're not here to just twiddle your thumbs, right? As a leader, like, okay, there's time and a place for everything. The same one of them at this current point, but you can still love your people and love them well. Practical, okay? As you give people the tools, this is why you train. Leaders, this is why you train. If you're not training, it's time. It's I don't care if your training is freaking written out and you post it. Like, do something, please, okay? Think about this. If every leader, if I have five leaders, just say, I only have, let's say I only have five leaders. I have five leaders. If every single one of my leaders decides to do some type of training that's beneficial for the group once a month, I feel like that's not too much to ask. Like, come on, can I get like, for real, y'all? Once a month, including myself, that's six different people that are now training within my group, okay? Not only does this help my leader skills when it comes to training, teaching their own people, but it also is gonna give others a chance to hear things from multiple levels. What is it? Until you sit where I sit, you can't see what I see, right? It, that's the thing. I think that's the thing, right? Okay, my, I think my dad just said it to me. He's like, I'm the head of this household. Until you sit where I sit, you're not gonna understand why we're doing the things that we're doing. And now I'm like, oh, okay. as a mom and a parent, like I get it. Okay, yes, I get it, dad. I got it, okay? It's the same thing. But when we have multiple people sharing different things at different levels, we're not just hitting one level of consultants. Now we're hitting all the different levels to benefit everybody, okay? So where if I'm teaching something, it might benefit Shannon and one of Shannon's leaders. Then Shannon comes up and she teaches something. Maybe that's helping one of my leaders, one of my certified consultants. Do you understand? It's a web, okay? It goes out. So leaders, it's time to step it up. This is a huge potential to change the game within all of the organizations together, okay? Um, so yeah, let's do that. I feel like this, I just really feel like it's not. It also spreads out the workload so that not everything is on you. Not everything is on me, okay? We're now shouldering it all together. It makes the workload easier and lighter, which is a huge blessing, okay? So, oh, my team page is so dead, Anya. Uh, well, what are you doing to wake it up? What are you doing on your director's page, on your SD's page, on your SSC's page to wake it up? What are you doing? Let's take some accountability, all of us as leaders, and let's choose to do better, okay? 
All right, next, you're gonna teach your people how to use the workstation. Now I'm gonna give you all something in just a minute too, okay? You're gonna teach them what they should be focusing on every single month. If your people think that they should only be focusing on samples, that, that's a failure on your part because they should know that's not what they should be focusing on if they want a big, large, successful business. There's more to it than just samples, okay? We have to realize that we have to literally teach people. It's normal to us as leaders. We see it all the time, but it's not for everybody else, okay? So if they have an idea, ask them to share it on the team page. Get them out of their comfort zone. Where do you grow? Outside of your comfort zone. We want our people to grow, okay? Um, I don't care if that team page is yours or not. It's a community and we're better together for a reason, okay? We wanna foster an environment where every single person feels like they can share. They don't feel like it's stupid. They don't feel like it's too minimal. No, because every single person in your organization holds value, every single one. They all have something important to say, something important to share, something that's not working in their business or something that is, period. That's, a, that's four different things I could share right there, okay? So I say task them out, but like really, hey, I saw that you had a really good PRB. Can you please go post on the team page what you're doing? It's that simple. It's literally that simple, but you have to pay attention as a leader, okay? Um, teach them how to look at reports. Why do so many people not know how to look at reports? You cannot break the workstation, go on there, click around, figure it out, okay? And teach your people how to do the same, all right? Okay, love it. Teach them what you're putting in your VIP group. How does that look? What is working? What's not working? How to set up a party? How to make their party successful? Okay, you learn something every single season. I feel like I have to change something in my parties. Every single season. It's always, there's always something new happening. Share that with your people, okay? And what might work for you might not work for them or vice versa, right? But that's why we're sharing things. That's why we're working together to do this. Okay, teach them how to share Sensi, not sell it. Okay, teach them to share. Yes, share how they're using Sensi, what it does for their life, what they love, okay? Teach them how to share, all right? Teach them how to have a join conversation, how to have a party conversation, less is more. Let's let our customers lead the conversation instead of word vomiting on them, right? I'm not reading a long message, like it ain't happening. I don't have time. Okay, teach them how to let them lead. Let your customer lead the conversation. Teach them how to rest when they need to and not to give up. This is a big one. This is a big one. Teach them how to rest when they need to and not just give up. Okay, there's no longevity when people just are like, oh, I'm done. I'm good. That was hard. I had a hard month and me too. Okay, yep, and Shannon too. And Elizabeth too. We're all having hard months. We're still going. We're still here right? So teach them how to slow down and let them know that that's okay, but they don't have to just stop, all right? Teach them how to see potential in others, just like we just talked about, okay? Hey, girl, I was looking at your reports, and I saw that Chastity was really killing it. She's doing, I'm not okay, I'm doing that. She's really doing the darn thing. She's really, really doing it, okay? Man, you should talk to her and see if she wants anything to do with leadership, now you're teaching your people how to see potential. Do you understand? You have to teach them, but it's gonna start with you looking at reports, you paying attention, you doing the work, okay? Have them look at numbers, who is showing up, who's on fire, who's consistent, et cetera. That's what we're gonna do. Now, I have, can I share my screen? Maybe, no? I don't have to, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I can do this. Okay, I have, share the link. Okay, I'm gonna share this link with y'all. Nope, that's the Zoom. That's not the link. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll figure it out. I made in the Google Drive, okay, for the Ignite group, Chastity had stuff. Why is it being ridiculous right now? That's literally not what I want to do. Chastity had stuff last time. Copy link. Gotta push the copy on you, okay? Listen, I kept this very, very simple, okay? I have in here, literally equip your people. That's what it's called. Equip your people. Okay, November, Anya, equip your people. We have in this, we have copies of some of my um, promotion emails. Also, hi, I don't reinvent the wheel. That is me, okay? I don't reinvent the wheel. 
So this is literally a collection of a bunch of other leader stuff that I just changed and made my own. So there's that, if I even changed it, just to be completely honest, okay? I don't, I'm not reinventing the wheel. So you now have access to emails for people who promote to certified all the way up through director, okay? Those emails have tips, tricks, different language in it for them to learn as they're going, uh, going along in their Sensi business, okay? You have a folder for new teamies. You have a copy of the email I send my new consultants, okay? I also have in there the new consultant launch. I send this to them. I'm like, here, I model it off of Whitney's. I can be the same as Whitney's. I'm just going to be real honest, okay? Like, there you go. So that's my new consultant launch. It has links in there. They can click. They can go. They can be successful, okay? If they're like, Anya, I don't know. And I'm like, well, did you look at the new consultant launch? Perkins, 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 right? I'm teaching them how to use their resources, okay? Okay. You also have, what else do you have in there? You also have... Mm -mm. Anya, where we at? You also have IPAs, okay? For you, that's in capitals, in capital for you, because you're going to do the work. You are doing the work also. You're not just telling people to do the work, okay? So you and for your teammates, there's a folder in there that has weekly and monthly tasks per title, okay? Per title. You don't, you don't need to do the most, okay? Stop doing the most. Please keep it simple. For the love of God. Please keep it simple. I know it's hard because there's so many cool things that all these people are doing. Stop, stop. Because guess what? It's half done over here in the corner. Never did it. And now I'm just a whole mess, okay? Let's just keep it simple, please. Keep it simple, okay? You have a compensation plan breakdown. So if you don't understand, you need to look at that. You need to study that. There are many YouTube videos on it. Go watch a video. You have a question. Go to your director, your SC, your SSB. You need to know how you get paid. Why? Because duh. But also because your people need to know how to get paid. You can't explain something that you don't understand. Okay. You need to know that. That's important. What? Literally having this conversation with my husband, he's like, I'm not understanding how they did this transition. And I want to ask questions. And I'm like, yeah, you do. Because it's your money and you need to know how to get paid. Period. Okay. Period. You have a booking blitz tracker on there. Super simple. This is nothing crazy, you guys. You can print it. You can use it. You can throw it all on your phone. I don't know. Share it with your people. This is how we book parties, okay? Literally, write them down. Write what day you're doing the party down. You have a customer follow-up log in there. If you're not using the app, which you should be using Sensi Connect. You should be using Sensi Connect. They say you say it like three times to get stuck in people. You should be using Sensi Connect. Okay, there we go. Now it should be really stuck in there and now you're gonna use it and it's gonna be great. We begged and begged and begged and since you did it, use it, okay? Um, you have, this is Amber's actually, a copy of new frontline and potential teamings. It's a whole Excel sheet, okay? You can fill it out, keep it on your computer, print it off, whatever, track your people, know when they're doing good things, shout them out, know what you've taught them versus what you've not taught them. When they come in, Okay, and there's a thing for reports to pull. You don't know what reports pull? Now you do, because you have access to it. Look at you, all this equipping right here, okay? You have access to the ladder of success. Those are the things you should be focusing on every single month if you want a big business, okay? And in that order, go from the bottom up, in that order, okay? And then I even gave you guys a copy of my Welcome to Leadership. Pretty sure I stole this from Whitney also, okay? My Welcome to Leadership. Thing that I send when someone promotes to being a lead consultant, okay? I plug my stuff in, like, y'all, these are here, use them, okay? Just like I use Whitney's, you use, you use these, okay? Plug your stuff in, and when you have a new leader promote, you send that to them. Check in with them. Have you had a chance to look at it? You need to know what they know, okay? Now you are equipped, and now you get to go and equip your people. And it's gonna be so good, okay? You teach your leaders to do the same for their people. And once you do that, you're going to keep checking in, but it's going to keep the ball rolling and you're going to keep your organization growing and growing and growing. Okay. Okay. That's all I got for y'all. That's it. I love it. You can do it, Whitney. <laughs>